The other thing that's being portrayed in the film that I find surprising, and you, you, uh, this is again only rumor I heard, and I heard from some very reliable sources, but that substances figured large into OJ's behavior. That he was a man that was a loved figure until the substances became part of his life. And you see that portrayed in this film. What do you believe about that piece of this story? Well, look, I mean, there have been a lot, there were a lot of stories circulating about what O.J. Simpson may have done at the McDonald's that he went to an hour and a half before the murders. So, you know, that is something that came up. But I got to tell you, Dr. Drew, um, I know a lot of police officers in this town, and I can tell you that some of them have told me long before Nicole Brown Simpson, uh, they were going to... Uh, the home of O.J. and Arnell, the woman he was married to before, you know, because of disturbances, shouting, all sorts of things. And they would go up there and, you know, they would try to calm things down and they never really did anything. But, you know, his problem with the women in his life is not something that surfaced in the last year or two of his life. I mean, remember the incident in 1989 where he beat the crap out of her on New Year's Day. You know, that was almost five years before the murder. So, you know, this is, I, I don't think you can say this is an issue of substance uh, shortly before the murder. I just don't think so. Uh, well, I, again, I, I'm just wondering, just the out-of-control quality that we're seeing and the fact that it is a lot of prescription stuff is being portrayed on the television series, I found that interesting because that was something that seemed to have been left completely out of the courtroom, which I found interesting. Harvey, I'm going to let you and, go. And, 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 go I, ahead, I, I, please. I think you're, I think you're, I, I got to say, I think you're right that they are showing that, and I do think that it was a factor, but you really do need to look at the history, and a lot of that, look, I, I will tell you one quick story, because I know you're short of time. I owned a house that um, was sold to me by a guy who was very close with O.J. Simpson. It turns out, I found out actually in the trial, that in that house, and I am talking in the, in the 80s, um, O.J. Simpson, this is the only time that, that people witnessed O.J. Um, using violence against Nicole, you know, at that house. And it actually came up in the trial. So we are talking a long time before the murders that O.J. Simpson was off the rails with her.